Hello everyone, here we are explaining how a Poreo Taxi app works. On the left side, you can see it is user or customer interface and on the right side, we are showing driver or partner interface. We have option of change language also according to the region. It is a dynamic feature, how many languages you want to add, you can add. Next, we are showing how the login process works. For now, we are doing demo login. Now you will write all the information required here. This is all just for an example. After writing, you will submit it and create a demo account. Once demo account is created, it may need some permissions. Once the permissions is given, you have you'll have this screen in front of you. Next, the work is of user screen. Client will write wherever he or she wants to go. So it will click on the destination. You can write your destination or you can set location on map by drag and drop and confirm the destination or you can have saved places at whatever place you want. This all is a dynamic feature, either you want it in your app or not. Now after writing the destination, you also have option to write pickup location. I, either you can write the pickup location or again drag and drop. This is all dynamic. Once you have written your destination, you will get options of vehicles, whatever vehicles available at that region of yours and also what at whatever price it is available. For now, we will click on bike. This is a dynamic feature whether you want to show which vehicle at the particular region. After choosing the vehicle, you have a screen of payment method, which we have two payment method right now, cash and wallet. According to the region you are living, you can again change the methods available here. Next is apply coupon. If you have any promo code, you can write. And if you're not, then it's fine. And otherwise, this is also dynamic. Either you want to show your customer apply coupon or not. Next is schedule write. You can schedule write for a few days after or particular timing afterwards. Otherwise, you can request write right now. Once the, you're requesting write, you have option of confirming your pickup location and also favorite drivers if you have done already. After confirming the pickup location, the notification will come to the driver. On the driver screen, you can see there is a timer going on. It's of 100 seconds for now, but it's a dynamic feature. Whatever driver you want, you can go. Next here is a taxi ride, normal kilometers and timing. This is a dynamic feature. If you want that the driver has shown this, then it will be shown. Otherwise, it won't. Next is amount and cash. This is also once again a dynamic feature. This is because uh, if the amount is low or if it's prepaid or cash, because driver may prefer something else and won't accept the ride. Next is pickup location and drop off location. Pickup lo pick off location is mandatory. And next is drop off location. It, it is also not mandatory. It's dynamic whether you want to show your driver the drop off location or not. Once reading all the information, if it suits to driver, driver will accept the order by clicking on accepting order. Once clicked on accepting order, driver will have three features. One to call. Next is to navigate it to the customer by using map. And third is chat in itself in the app also. Similarly, customer also have two options, call or message the driver. Once driver is arrived at the location, driver will click on arrive. After clicking on arrive, there is an option to start ride. To start ride, you need to give an OTP, which is given to customer and customer will give to the driver, but it is also a dynamic feature. If you don't want that OTP is there, then you can delete that. 
there is also an sos button given to drivers similarly as to customer also in case of any emergency now you click on start ride and you'll write the otp which is given by customer once writing otp the ride will start after the ride to end the ride you'll driver will click on end ride there is also an option of giving tip to the driver if customer wants and drive customer can also share their ride to whomever they want so that the other person will know the location now you'll click on end ride after the ride is completed the driver will have option to if to rate the customer similarly customer also have option to rate vehicle and rate the driver customer can also do favorite uh, heart give a heart to driver and put it in their favorites so that if the driver is uh, in the region of 6 km next time the request will go automatically to them there is also a button a green button or on duty now once the driver is on duty he or she will click on that if the driver is off duty or took a break then they will off this button and the request will not come to them this is how the app works thank you for watching